Here is the box for the Huawei Ascend Mate 2. Look at that. How would you think you pronounce that? If you don't have any idea like I didn't, it is Huawei, and they are hoping you're going to remember their name. Uh, the Chinese company is trying to make well, a name for themselves uh, in the U.S. market. And what we've got is their latest phablet a large screen device. It is a Huawei Ascend Mate 2. The 6.1 inch phone pack. Some pretty nice specs. Go ahead and take a look. It's got a nice little slide out thing which does make things a bit easier. Then the typical kind of boxes you got to open up. I know, complain about how to open up boxes. That's a silly complaint. I'll go ahead and pull this guy out. Sometimes I forget how big six inch phones actually are until you hold one. I'll push it off to the side for a real quick second and see what else we're going to have inside of this box. We got nothing under there. But I would wager there's something in this side. Looks like there is. We've got accessories. And if you want to see uh, more detail of this, uh, hit the link down below to go to the article on technobuffalo.com. We've got a gallery. Um, kind of a unique looking wall work. It's square, but same USB port, same plugs. You probably have about 12 of. Speaking of 12 of, we've got a micro USB port. So you can uh, charge and sync your device. Push all that stuff off to the side. Here is the pretty big Huawei Ascend Mate 2. We run through the specs and we will power the sucker on. So a 6.1 inch display, which technically is HD, uh, but it's 720 by 1280, giving it a 241 PPI. Uh, it's got a really nice camera uh, on the back, a 13 megapixel sensor, and a 5 megapixel compadre living right there on the front. A quad core processor, uh, Snapdragon 400 here. 16 gigabytes of storage and 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, and it's going to keep going for close to <laughs> 60 hours uh, with a 4,050 milliamp hour battery. Let me go ahead and power this sucker on. All right, so we got all this thing powered on. Let me go ahead and walk you through the phone itself. No buttons and very slim bezels living right here on the front, so you can bet there are going to be buttons on screen. On the left-hand side, we've got nothing. On the right-hand side, we've got a little bit of action. Volume rocker up and down, power and lock button located um, below the volume rocker, which I like because it's a big phone. It's kind of hard to stretch your thumb all the way up there as often as you might need that guy. Uh, 35 millimeter headset jack on the top, noise canceling mic, noise canceling mic on the bottom, as well as your charge and sync port. Let's go ahead and turn this sucker on. It's got something neat on it that they're calling gloves mode, which means you can use your phone when you're using gloves. I don't have gloves, but I will use my shirt and see if it works. Hey, it did work. That's neat. Don't always uh, see that happening. So if you live in somewhere it's cold, or you like to wear gloves in the warm because your hipster like that. Uh, you might want to consider this device. Uh, so a quick look at the UI. They customized it a bit and certainly customized the icons, but they did kind of leave Android uh, alone, but put sort of a fresh coat of paint on it, so to speak. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going to be uh, in the app drawer. So go ahead and scroll over. Uh, all your apps now show up right here. No particular app drawer if you were looking for one. Uh, so just so you're aware, get it sort of Apple style, meaning all your applications are gonna show up as you scroll. So the UI on this is called Emotion UI. One nice thing about Android, if you don't like the way this looks or you don't like to have all your apps show up here, you can put on your own skin. You can put on your own OS. You can do all kinds of customizations on it, uh, which is sort of the beauty of the operating system. So quick look here uh, at the device. It's big, it's sort of high resolution, and it's sort of in that mid price. Uh, you wanna check out Huawei's official site for pricing because they change every day. So I hate to say prices in an initial unboxing video, or two weeks later, it could be a hundred bucks less. Uh, but you can get it unlocked and it does have 4G LTE capabilities uh, in the US. So you'll be able to use it uh, on AT&T's network. If you wanna pick up a phone and don't wanna sign a contract, you'll be able to do that. Quick look here at the camera UI. It's a pretty standard uh, Android fare. Go ahead and go back. Um, if you guys want to see anything particular about the Huawei Ascend Mate, do be sure to let me know. I'll make sure we cover that uh, in future videos and review if you guys think that you want to see that. Uh, again, until next time, I'm John Renton from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. You'll be the first ones to know when new videos come up. We have a ton of stuff. We do unboxing, we do hands-on, reviews, cars, and everything in between that has to do with consumer electronics. We'd love to have you stick around.